Hey, 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 what up, guys? It's your boy, SoFlySojo1, back again with another Grand Theft Auto video. Alright, guys, so in this video, we got a brand new workaround for the car duplication glitch. So apparently, the auto shop method has been patched up. So here's the workaround. So, what you are gonna need, you need a friend. And that friend needs to be 100% off the radar. I got a couple of videos on my YouTube channel on how to go off the radar. So, what you guys are going to need to do is call out a random vehicle on the map. And your friend is going to be off the radar. So, we're going to go ahead and take this random vehicle from a random garage. Have your friend that's off the radar jump inside that random vehicle. So, have your friend sit in there AFK. Your friend's not going to do anything besides sit in your vehicle. From here, you guys are going to go ahead and make your way inside of your nightclub on where your Speedo Custom is stored or your Terabyte is stored. Hop inside of your Speedo or your Terabyte, press right on the D-pad, you guys should see the brake lights come on. Go ahead and hit the start button, and we are going to go ahead and teleport on over to the Arena War. If you guys do not know how to teleport, I got a full tutorial on my channel. So once over here at the Arena War, go ahead and make your way inside of the Arena War Garage. So enter inside the garage and where you guys got the vehicle that you want to duplicate is. So once inside, go ahead and locate that vehicle. We're going to jump inside that ISSI. I recommend using an ISSI all maxed out. It sells for $1.8 million. So jump inside that ISSI, press right on the D-pad, bring it inside the mod shop and go to the license plate and change one thing on the license plate. And we're going to go ahead and exit the arena war. Now once outside, we're going to go ahead and pull up our phone and call out a vehicle that we do not care about, alright? So I recommend having a garage full of blank RH8 allergies. So call out that free allergy and we're going to go ahead and give it about 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, go ahead and tell your friend to jump outside the vehicle that he's sitting in. So, after your friend jumps outside the vehicle, you guys should see that the license plate will change. Alright, so from here, open up the interaction menu and make sure that you guys call out your MOC. Once the MOC has hit the map, we're going to go right ahead to that MOC. And we're going to go and put this ISSI in the back of that MOC. Accept all alerts when going inside the MOC. Alright, perfect. So, there it is guys, we have our duplicated ISSI and a brand new license plate. So now what we're going to do is make our way back towards the arena war and make sure that that vehicle is duplicated. Alright, go ahead and make your way inside that same garage. Alright, perfect. You guys should see the vehicle back at the same location. Alright, so that vehicle right there is our original vehicle. The one that's inside the MOC is our duplicated vehicle. So, I'm going to go outside and show you guys that we have a duplicated vehicle in the back of the MOC. So, go to services, go to MOC and request your personal vehicle. And there you guys should find your duplicated vehicle. Alright, so now what we can do with this vehicle that sells for $1.8 million if you guys are selling one vehicle per day. And if your ISSI is all maxed out, this vehicle should sell for $1.8 million. But as you guys can see there, I've already sold a vehicle today. So it's only going to give me half of what the vehicle's worth. The first time that you sell a vehicle, it's going to give you full price. The second time that you sell a vehicle in a day, it's going to give you half price. So, if you guys go on to like today's video, please do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications. It's your boy, SoFlySojo1, I'm out of here guys, peace out.